our watershed is probably the cleanest watershed in Sonoma County. We don't take that lightly, you know, that's serious. So we protect it and, you know, that's why we don't use any chemicals, pesticides, bottled nutrients or anything that would ever harm the creek or the watershed. That's really important to us. So yeah, we have really good, clean quality water that tastes really sweet when you drink it. And when I smoke my weed, what I taste is the water. We don't add nutrients like traditionally, so those nutrients don't build up in the flower. You never have to flush your plants to remove that because it was never there in the first place. All that was there is, is you know, water and, and native ingredients. So it's basically like about as clean as you can get. I feel like it's a really interesting time to be here. You know, wildfires are whipping up and so it's a real it's, it's, it's definitely it feels really important to be a good steward and it's very cool to see like the yeah, mindset of yeah. CDFA evolve their thinking around like prescribed burns and just ways to manage the forest after seeing what the past number of decades have gotten us, you know, we're not in a very good place right now. So they're really looking at how to evolve that and that's inspiring to see that yeah they, they want to do prescribed burns yeah they're down with it we're all on the same page we're like let's burn let's do prescribed burns please when can we start uh, it's the it's the best thing ever the forest will love it the forest is begging for it if you don't want to actually burn you got to act like fire you got to remove the fuel for the fire if fire comes through it removes the fuel whatever survives now doesn't have all that competition you have to act like that by becoming the fire Right, which is why it's good to inoculate stuff because then it becomes inoculated with mycelium and just goes to mush quicker. It just disappears that much quicker. So when you cut it down, it doesn't end up, end up to be fuel on the ground. Here we are at the creek hanging out. We've got this horsetail here to show you guys where we harvest horsetail. So, you know, we'll come down here early in the morning and we'll harvest the younger horsetail and we will go up and boil some water and then pour that over the horsetail. That's one way you can do it. And then take that, let it sit for what, like? Uh, oh. You know, eight, 10, 12 hours is great. You know, you can make a nice, nice strong infusion. Then we'll take that and foliar feed it to the plants, just either straight up or diluting it. Oh yeah, we also take the uh, horsetail and use it in the JLF for the silica as well. This is one of the oldest plants on the planet, so it's very resilient. So we're trying to add that resiliency into our crop. That way it's really healthy and we can grow the best weed. We just found this turtle shell in the creek. It's absolutely amazing how it's held together by all these joints. It's pretty, it's amazing. I've not really seen a, a turtle shell quite like this before. Like the shell is like part of his, uh, it's like ribs that yeah. just. It's amazing. Attached to each Beautiful. other. Beautiful, yeah, we just found that hanging out here. It sustains us, it's water, which is life. And that's why we can live here. We couldn't live here without the creek. Just makes it. So much more pleasurable to be here, you know, all the life, the birds, the salamander, the fish, all the creatures that congregate at the creek. There's a richness of diversity near the water. We're on Spring Creek and, you know, it's a very significant name. The name is not given to it lightly. It's been named that, you know, for like hundreds of years for a reason. It's spring fed, so, you know, it's got really good water. And that's really important to us because I always try to live somewhere where there's clean water. Having three creeks converging on our property means we have a space where there's a lot of negative ions gathering in that area. So if you're feeling negative, you go down there and, mm -hmm. and you, just, you just can't even remember. 
you know it just washes it away for real that's kind of the the spring creek vibe you know what i mean really like more even than the ocean i feel like i have more of a connection with creeks and lakes and rivers you know just on a just where I resonate, you know, is feeling at home and, you know, nurtured and where yeah. I want to be. Obviously, I choose to live in the mountains next to a creek rather than on the ocean, you know. If you were here in January, you know, after You wouldn't a big recognize storm. it. It will wash you away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's raging. It'll reach up and grab you and take you yeah, away. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it gets going, especially... But, at, but this time of year... So we're really lucky that we have water running water you can hear the water if i didn't have running water or you know this type of water in my space it would be harder to be comfortable yes i would feel like it's a lot drier it's we precious have, it's precious it's very water. precious yeah. we definitely protect the creek here you know as best we're able and just try and have a mutually beneficial relationship here's the spirit of the creek right here this turtle is a huge gift. I, I've, it's very significant that we just found this. This means a lot. I'm not sure how to put it into words at this time, at this moment, but it's very significant nonetheless. I would say this is uh, truly a sign from the Great Spirit to find a turtle shell right now. Mm -hmm. Definitely a sacred sign. Thank you, Great Spirit. I'd say we get the thumbs up for being down here, hanging, talking on this level here. <laughs> yeah, things like I this mean a lot to a me. Lot, mean a lot to us, yeah. <laughs> these signs. I can't really imagine a more beautiful partnership. You know, and I never... Never thought about it, but Right, it just it happened. Here we are. It just <laughs> happened. You just got to go with the flow yeah. and... And when it's, you know, you know, on the business, family, homesteading, you know, level, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot to do with your partner, you know? Yeah, spend all, <laughs> everything, all day, every day, business, everything, right in each other's face. At the times it feels like it's working, it's so sexy, it's just like the hottest and thing. We're, and <laughs> we're both Tauruses, so um, it can be a little bit, you know... When it's not working, when it feels like it's not working, <laughs> yeah. then it is, We're butting heads. can be quite difficult. <laughs> but we work through it always. You yeah. know how it is, everybody. Yeah. You just got to work through it. So it's precious to, you know, be with your love, doing something you both love and teaching each other, you know. And growing. being receptive and, you know, being able to give and take. And I'm teaching you and you're teaching me. And we're just here all, you know, in a mutual way. <laughs> Nature is love.